Let me move on to a last subject before I go to break, and it involves Minnesota Timberwolves star guard Anthony Edwards. He's in the news for the wrong reasons, ladies and gentlemen. He's publicly walking back comments he made to a woman which appears to urge her to have an abortion. Now, I don't talk about stuff like this, but he commented on it. He's the 22-year-old Minnesota Timberwolves star, um, and he was put on blast in a series of social media posts this weekend by a Paige Jordan, or Jorday, J-O-R-D-A-E, who has more than a million followers. And naturally, she shared a recent text conversation that she says lays out Edward's wishes to terminate her pregnancy. The woman also shared the screenshot of a $100,000 wire transfer appearing to be from the former number one overall pick after providing proof of the procedure. Edwards issued a statement today on his social media account addressing the alleged text message thread shared between him and the woman saying, quote, I made comments in the heat of the moment that are not me and that are not aligned with what I believe and who I want to be as a man, he wrote. All women should be supported and empowered to make their own decisions about their bodies and what is best for them. I am handling my personal matters privately and will not be commenting on them any further at this moment in time. Edwards, whose first place Timberwolves play the Heat in Miami tonight, is having his best year yet in his fourth NBA season, in case y'all didn't know, averaging 24 points per game. Let me say this. <sighs> Anthony Edwards had to apologize because he is a public figure. Having said that, once again, here's the bigger lesson to be learned. Guard who you deal with. Once again, I'm singing that same old dance. It's none of our damn business. Who Anthony Davis is screwing around with, who he impregnated, he has a relationship with this woman, and she put him on blast. She took text messages and revealed them to the public. I'm starting to wonder what repercussions somebody can have for having their privacy violated. That's what I'm wondering about. I'm not casting any aspersions. We live in a society, ladies and gentlemen, if Anthony Davis wanted her to have an abortion, respectfully, that's his business. We have pro-choice and we have pro-lifers all over the country. And I keep saying Anthony, da I keep saying Anthony Davis, I apologize. I mean Anthony Edwards, I'm sorry. I say Anthony Davis so much because he played for the Lakers. We're not talking about him. We're talking about Anthony Edwards for the Minnesota Timberwolves who I really get to talk about, who I would have loved to talk about involving basketball, but we got to talk about this because she violated their private affairs. She is a woman. She is free to do what she wants with her own body. This is America. If she's impregnated and she wants to have the child, that is her business. If Anthony Edwards does not want her to have the child, that is his business. There's no laws he's violating because he wouldn't want the child. There are pro-lifers and pro-choice folks all over this country. Just like we saw millions celebrating when the Supreme Court overturned Roe v. Wade a couple of years back, we saw millions lamenting it. We saw the state of Ohio bragging about how the women came out and clearly we're in support of other women because they were support of pro-choice, which means the choice to have an abortion if you so chose. So if women feel that way, what's wrong with a man feeling that way? I'm not one of those dudes. I'm not somebody who is a supporter of abortion, but I am a supporter of choice, answer to God. That's your business. So this is not for us to judge Anthony Edwards. The, the bigger issue for us, not him, he got bigger issues. And he has to deal with that situation because if she elects to have that child, which it appears that's what she's willing to do, and if it is indeed his child, he has a responsibility as a father, and that is his business. He signed for over $200 million in the offseason. He'll be just fine. The issue is... She put him on blast. 
she revealed private text messages. That's what appears to be the case, which compelled and forced him to come out with a statement addressing the situation because of the manner in which he spoke to her about his wishes. I'm wondering when is some laws going to come into place where people like Anthony Edwards and others can retaliate legally for folks putting their private messages on blast. It's none of our business. She clearly did it to humiliate him and compel him to think the way she wants him to think. So she's using the public to do it by violating his privacy. When are we going to talk about that? That's all I'm saying. I'm not talking abortion or keeping a child. I'm not getting into all that. That's his business. And it's public consumption because he commented on it. But come on. Come on, y'all.